Let's talk about submitting singles to playlists. Playlists in this day and age are very popular. Maybe you're watching this 20 years from now and you don't know what a playlist is, but for today, playlists are driving a lot of the revenue for artists, so let's talk about that. All of these tips are part of a big series I'm doing called 31 Tips Help You Start a Record Label, and you can get all of the tips condensed into one document at otherrecordlabels.com slash checklist. I put a checklist together to help you follow along for all the past episodes and the future episodes. Submitting singles to playlists, the number one way that you can do it that has a, a really big, can have a really big in, impact is you to, using your Spotify artist portal. So if you've uploaded your music and it's in queue for release at least a week to two weeks early, then if you, if you gain access to your Spotify artist page, then you'll see your release there as an upcoming release. And you can then submit it by picking the genre, um, what mood or feelings it has, what instruments were used, and a little bio about the song. The, lit, um, the editorial staff at Spotify, they're getting a lot of submissions, but they will listen to it. And cross your fingers, that's a great opportunity to get put on one of their editorial playlists. And a, a small editorial playlist can mean some good revenue for an artist. And a big editorial playlist can mean uh, you can quit your day job. So don't forget to do that. Use Submit Hub or other submission portals to submit your songs to non-editorial playlists, so some non-third-party playlists. Um, there is some there there is a groundswell that can happen when your song gets submitted to playlists, and if more and more people in third party and editorial included on playlists, then a certain single can do really well on Spotify. And I know there's a lot of people who are not crazy about Spotify and a lot of labels out here won't have a game plan for Spotify. That's okay, but it can ge generate some significant revenue and, and also some significant encouragement when artists see their numbers go up. Ask your friends to add the single to their personal playlist, add it to your label's person, um, playlist. Those are all things that will actually make an impact into the Spotify algorithm. And then contact third-party curators via email or social media. As a label, you should be spending a day or a week finding who these third-party playlists are in your genre. Who's the person that makes the best playlist? You should reach out to them. Thanks for watching. Get all these tips at otherrecordlabels.com slash checklist and subscribe for more. Thanks.